Welcome back to Let's Play Okami HD, episode 23. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Well, uh, I've been following this mount for a while now, and it seems to, to want to take me back to Seon City. Our goal is the Imperial Castle, and there is uh, one small chink in the Emperor's defense. And we're going to exploit that. So hard right now. I think the one thing I don't like about Seon City is the fact that if you want to get anywhere, you have to go through Rao's office. I always hated that. It just... The patches become so narrow and there's no way to get around it. You have to go through Rao's office. It's crazy. Well, we got a lot of stuff to do today and I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as I can. We need to head over here to the Imperial Palace. Where all that green, nasty... Blech sickness is coming from. Nor are these two dudes, because they're not important. What we need to go is over here! We've cornered the mallet. It is, you just said so. We could be finding another brush technique in this palace. Alright, here we go. This is totally how hammers work. You know, you just, uh, kinda, uh, I guess you, whoa. Yeah, you just kinda shake your magic hammer dust on things you wanna hammer and it gets smaller. It's totally how mallets work. Makes total sense. I don't know why we didn't jump over the wall, that would've made things a bit easier, but, yeah, whatever. And now we are tiny. Who could this be? Okay, I know we talked about it soon already. He's based on the war, uh, he's based on the Isun Boshi and all that, but in that story, he uses a mallet of luck, but the mallet of luck in that story actually makes him grow to normal size. So the lucky mallet does the opposite of what the, the mallet of luck is supposed to do in the Isun Boshi. Go figure. I guess not. She's just so jazzed up by everything being so big now, it's like, whoa, right! Oh, 
We're gonna be small for a good while now. I guess, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce the amazing Flying Isun. If you see a chest that's all wrapped up in chains, what you do is you uh, hover over him with your brush and you make him do whatever crazy ass pattern you want him to do. Trust me, he will go there. It's so wonderful, as long as you end on the chest. Look at him go! That is simply outstanding. Wonderful. Not to mention your crazy acrobatic skills. Alright, don't throw him at enemies, otherwise he'll kill them. Whoa, foot! Thanks for running me, assume. I didn't know. Well, anyway, there's a save mirror if you want to save. There's a lockjaw. And, uh, what's this guy up here? Why don't you tell us about it soon? Seeing as how you know so much about this world. They can be unpredictable, meaning that they're gonna get annoying when the context demands it. Yeah, I can just kind of stay here, I guess. Ooh, he's got weird-looking toes. Yeah. But somehow, by lifting his foot, he drops us. And huh. Huh. Where did he go? Oh, well. Anyway, we go ahead and make it across this small pond here. A small, poisonous pond. Did you hear something? I swore I could have heard... What the? What's that, as soon? Yeah, forget about the crying lady. What kind of man are you, Asun? Why don't you go ahead and do some tricks for me to show how sorry you are about making that rude statement. Go for it, man. That's wonderful. And in this chest we got a Traveler's Charm. Nothing interesting here. I don't have to worry about stray beads or anything missable here for now, but we'll get to that later because there is something in this section, in this episode, where if you're going for the platinum trophy, you need to get this. There are four Doom Mirrors. This is the Thunder Doom Mirror, I guess. He's pretty easy. All you gotta do is just Gale Storm him, which gets his electricity away so you can. Wail on him with no problems. And then he's like, oh, you can just do that. And there you go. Oh, and if you... Ah, oh, shit. I don't have a reflector. If you, I was about to say, if you had reflector, you could reflect that beam he just did. But I'm here to talk about our floral finisher, which we do have, which is the Gale Storm. Was I too late? God damn it. I promise, it was Gale Storm. I think I hit it one too many times. Because of the rosary, but... You get the idea, don't you? Anyway, after that little mess up, uh, continuing on here, another blocking spider, as well as a golden gate. Yeah, because now people are act actively walking around now, and uh, just to show you, they do hurt when they step on you, because it takes away two entire blocks of health. Well, point is it hurts a lot. 
I don't know, when I was testing this earlier, it took away two blocks of health. I don't know what I'm doing wrong then. Anyway, first step is to go into this cherry bomb hole, I guess you want to call it. Yeah. Which has a exorcism slip in here, nothing entirely useful, but hey, good to get it while we can. We could sell it for money later when we'll actually need it. We can't make it past over here because this guy is going fucking crazy with the broom. We can't cross it no matter what we do. That's uh, too bad for us then. And I had a hard time figuring this one out. There's no way that Amy can jump up there with her double jumper or anything like that. So the thing to do is to cherry bomb that door. Just like that. And as soon, why don't you get that shit for me? Wait until the camera gets in back into focus. And why don't you get that shit for me? Wow, you can even go through walls. You are some kind of demon. I'm probably going to die. But anyway, he gets us the key that we need for the lockjaw, so we're gonna make our way all the way back to the lockjaw over here. And there's that crying dame again. Whoa! That was almost terrible. But I guess now we need to talk to her. Because she's seen us. Oh my god! Freaking Kaguya! We're gonna dedicate an entire freaking episode to her, which is after we save the city and all that, but I can't even talk about it yet because there's so many spoilers and so many references to so many things, and oh, we will get to her when we get to her. Amnesia story. What are you looking at, Amy? Jeez! Have you no shame? I didn't know why we didn't have that conversation earlier, but uh, that's Kaguya. We're gonna release her later on. Well, we'll see. We'll get to it. Right now, we need to take this key back to that lockjaw, which is over here. Ugh. Every time. Jeez. Make our way through here, and uh, a couple of dead bugs and some nuts. 
for a bit again, I guess. Nice. But the place I need to go is down here. That's a terrible looking bomb. And that'll take us down below. This is where the Emperor hides his treasure. There's a treasure somewhere in here. So yeah, if you ever played Super Mario 2, you know what these are. First step, try to hit up this little guy. And up to this platform, and there you get a clover. Very big one, actually, currently speaking. It gives us 20 praise! Very nice. Next! Head on over here. Well, don't go down there. That's for one. Ah, shit. No! Take me with you! God damn it! Actually, that's fine because where we need to next go is up here. All these nuts. Then up these mushrooms. And this guy who doesn't like us on it for too long. Maybe not some more. And up here. And there's another freaking clover. Yep, if I dig in the right place. Looks so nice to the one that's in the back right there. And the last one is over there. He's got time to run with these platform spiders. Shouldn't be too bad. Yep. And big jump. And there we go. That just got us, guys. 60 praise for three clovers. Isn't that nice? Next, jump all the way down here. Now we're gonna go ahead and bomb this little hole here. This is the chest that holds the Emperor's treasure. It's pink inside. That's a little strange. Look at all this junk. Oh, great. I remember what they are soon. Well, we'll not worry about him right, right now. First thing we do here, cut down this flask! Simple enough. And ooh, smells good in there. You go inside the flask because, hey, why the hell not? And it's certainly a flask. Hmm. It's alcoholic vapors because we're in a flask of sake. Ugh. This is a show for kids. Not really. We need to get that alcohol out of here. That blows out all the mist from the flask. Another constellation. Kind of looks like an R. That tried to become a K.
This is Kasugami, god of the Vale of Mist. So he's a sheep that likes to drink alcohol from a flask. It's ironic or something, because she's trapped in the flask. She grants Veil of Mist, which slows down time for enemies and does a lot of other really, really cool things. Her name is derived from Kasumi, which means mist. This is complicated because while Kasu does mean mist, the kanji that they use in Kasugami is a different kanji. It actually means calm, but it can also be read as Kasu. So this is kind of another portmanteau between Kasu and Kasu. But there's also a different meaning to this kanji as well. This kanji also means confined to a room. And Kasugami was a god confined to a room. Oh, these word puns are terrible. So, like a bale of mist, you just gotta draw two lines, because if you want to draw a squiggly line like that with a real brush, you'd have harder and softer lines, but you can't do that with an analog controller, I guess. So they just had the two strongest lines, so just two lines will stop time! Well, not really stop time, but slow it down, but hey, you know what I mean. Now we have the means to escape, so we'll do just that. Wait until he goes back up. And then we get a trophy for Kasugami, of course. For uh, getting the Veil of Mist technique. And oh look! A Wind Doom Mirror has come. We can't use Gale Storm because, well, that'll only make him faster. So we have to use Gale of Mist, and that is what effectively slows him down and leads him up into attack. And you can repeat the move for as long as you like. This is why I think it's always good to have a lot of ink pots so you can continue to do this without a whole lot of penalties. The four little spheres you see on screen is your countdown, essentially. Veil of Mist is the Wind Dune Mirror's floral finisher, which grants three demon fangs. Very excellent. But also the Veil of Mist counts towards your time. That's right. For every second slowed down, it's actually real time. This will be helpful in some stuff I'll be doing at the end of the season, but for now we just need to know that it slows down, it's very helpful in defeating several enemies, and it's very, very useful, and it's just a lot of fun. We're making our out of the hole here. Let's try and quickly wrap things up as fast as we can. Oh, this guy's gonna start to be unpredictable now, so Veil of Mist, slow down time, and fuck you, bro! I'll bring us back across uh, Kaguya there. Still kind of watching us. Yeah, hi. I guess you can't do anything with her. Anyway, moving on now. Any two lines on the screen will do. They don't have to be in any sort of position. But now we can make our way past this pesky broom motherfucker. Like so. In the meantime, we can probably pass by this guy too. And there we go. Another golden mirror if you want it. One last chest for us soon. I don't know if that's his last one. I just love doing that, it's just so cool. It's like, man, when does he ever do this in the rest of the game, huh? Infinity Stone is definitely good, uh, if you're using Fable Mist frequently. We got clean water here, so we can use that to fill this deer trap, or whatever you call these things. I always thought they were deer scares. I need to fill this other one. We 
and just jump it from here. Love that double jump. Platform spider. So we're gonna go ahead and keep him right there. <laughs> and now we're inside the palace. There's the emperor. Oh god, it's his stanky ass, nasty halitosis breath! So we can't make it through up there, we're gonna have to make it through up there. Can't really see it too well, but... Up there, trust me. Now here is where it gets important, those of you for the Platinum. Go to this Demon Scroll over here. Because you have a Fire and Ice Doom Mirror. And this is the only place where you will meet either of them. They're not that powerful, really. A bit easier to well if I can. I'm trying to make it so I can there. You can use the fire on the ice to really stick it to him. This ice do here at least. We don't have the ice power yet, so we can't do it vice versa. And it takes care of one. His floor finisher was also a uh, veil of mist. Which we can also use for the fire doom mirror. Decides to, you know, start working with me. That also you can use uh, Gale Storm, which works just as well. You're all scared. Ah, shit. Definitely don't want to escape. And let's see. Veil of Mist. I guess it was Gale Storm. Shit. With these Fire Doom Mirrors, uh, their floor finisher is either. Um, Gale Storm or Bale of Mist. This flame's really had my ass. I say this because if you look at our bestiary. We have the Fire Doom Mirror. And our Ice Doom Mirror. We already have our Thunder Doom Mirror and our Wind Doom Mirrors. So we got all those taken care of. If you get those, you should be good for the Platinum still. And that's the only two parts that you can actually miss for the Platinum Trophy. The Water Dragon, if you swim away, if you, uh, sw swim away from him in time, you get that trophy. And if you get those two uh, Doom Mirrors, you got that too, so... If you got both those things, then you are still golden. You don't have to worry about moves or techniques right now. We, need, we should wait until we get a little bit more money, a little bit more techniques, and... Actually, a little bit more power as well. Short platforming section, not too difficult. You can use Veil of Mist if you're really, really, really having problems. I'm actually surprised I was doing pretty well. And now here's where things get kind of fun. You have blocking spiders that want to be pendulum spiders, I guess. You've got a pillar of fog that you need to go to. And, you guessed it, you gotta try and avoid these guys while making it over there and just... You, you get the point. That shit hurts but doesn't knock you off. You can use Veilimus if you want to, but uh, frankly I don't think I need to. I think I can do just fine without. These guys move extra fast when you step on them. Excuse me. Go all the way down here and turn right. And turn right again and then... Oh wait! One more chest for a soon. I didn't even see that first time. What should he do? The last hurrah, just have him kind of loop around until... Yeah. No matter what, he will do it. Let's give him a round of applause. That's just some excellent, fantastic work there. Now for this, you probably need the Veil of Mist, unless you think you have the stones for it, which I don't believe I do. So, the Veil of Mist, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and we're in. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh. Smells like 
He swallowed it skunks. Oh. And he wants to dive on in. Oh nope, 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 nope. I'm gonna have to like drink a gallon of Listerine and take like five showers if we ever want to be ready for this, so uh I'll just leave things here, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Okami HD.